uh, are still doing amateur brackets. So I will be playing uh, commentating at least this set. We'll see. I think we're going to have Troll and Weffles at some point. <laughs> but we've got Tojo versus Panda Bear. Winner semis. Winner of this plays against Tata and winner's finals. Two, one, go. This matchup, uh, if I remember correctly from the Smash 4 days, was doo doo. It was very bad for uh, uh, Villager. Just because of that move right there. So we're probably going to see a lot of reflects happening. Luckily, it does not have the wall anymore of the reflector, so definitely going to be a much more viable fight. And we're just going to be spacing out these, these slingshots. Sojo is playing very patient, though. But you kind of have to in this matchup. I think for both of them, they both have to play very patient. Kind of pick their fights. Sojo's can probably use being, They're both going to be using a lot of... <laughs> Actually, I should get the replays well for this one. All right, just in case. This is probably going to be a very close set for sure. Having moved to, I believe, moved to Michigan um, a while ago, uh, has definitely leveled up incredibly. And always was a very good player. So I'm glad that he's still like you know top top eight for sure at this point. Tojo with the with the lead, but. 117%. Some moves will get a kill at this point for a villager. Oh, that's dead. That's a dead Palutena for sure. No, no extra credit quite yet. Also, keep in mind this is a oh, fourth match for sure. Okay. And it's very good at the offstage pressure, which you really need to do against Palutena to be able to compete against her. Up, up there, okay, not quite getting the forward air follow up. It's gonna reflect, nope, just gonna pressure. Alright, we got the. Look at the reticle, right? The auto, the auto reticle, that's it. So down throw the forward air, or back air. Gonna take it. Quarter percent, much better off uh, percent wise for a coach with this stack, this stock. Back air. Now Panda at the ledge, but that's kind of where he wants. Oh, this is kind of what Panda wants. He, does, he wants to have that pocketed Lloyd. That Lloyd is, that pocket Lloyd is so strong. That Nair. All right, good chase from Panda. He's going to have to get something set up now. Oh, very sneaky setup. Honestly, all things considered, Panda hasn't taken too much extra credit. I will take the stock very soon now. Oh, poor Tilt barely missing. Tojo still has not lost his second stock. But also, Panda has, has not take, really taken that much damage, so it's, it's kind of a. Oh, back to that, up going to take it. Six percent on the uh, extra credit. Oh! All right, Panda Bear needs to get something going. So doing a very good job with these other reticles, uh, keeping Panda Bear at like the exact range. Like they're, they're both keeping each other right at a uh, villager slingshot range and auto reticle range ish. So they're trying to catch that. Uh, very smart options for both. Yeah. 
That's not quite gonna take it. But getting very close, dangerous to close. Our panic has the sprout out. No joke, still, still in a very strong lead. Never count out Panda Bear. He is. I mean, there's not really many villagers either. You kind of have to be aware of like the matchup. Panda is so good at his pressuring. Like I said, like I've been saying this whole set game so far, they've both been pressuring each other at like the exact range of like slick shot. Tojo just using. Oh, we're down to a minute and a half, by the way. Oh, that's gonna take it though. Dash tech, not even stale. Too bad for you. So you're up one to nothing. So it was getting close, for sure. I mean, uh, Panda has an Isabel, he has a Sora, but like. We all know that his villager is definitely his like soul name. And also, I don't think that Isabel would do better in this matchup. And I actually don't know how Sora versus Palutena is, but you know, I think in this situation, Panda should definitely stick with his comfort pick. The character he's been playing for his like basically his whole life, I would say, his whole competitive life for sure. His nares. Oh, Panda Bear SDI out of there. Looks pretty even right now. Oh, no double jump, I think, for Toko. Not quite getting that forward snipe. Altane is kind of a weird one to uh, oh, try and catch a roll. Alright, back here, tried. Panda doing a very good job mixing up his DI. Oh! Very <laughs> incredibly smart choice from Toto. Trying to use, or using that tree to send the hitbox, but Panda not falling for it. Panda's just basically going to be trying to, trying to use that side beat, the, the Lloyd Rocket, to, uh, so that way he can try to hit the uh, Sunshot. Get, them hit, get hit by the Lloyd Rocket. Wow. And he knows he needs to get away from that ledge because Toto is fishing for those back airs, which probably would take it at this point. And it definitely trying to do something. Alright. This is going to do it right now for sure. Both are playing so slippery. Oh, all right, yeah, I was gonna say, uh, Toja needs to get something, needs to get out of there, because he had that extra, um, he had already grabbed ledge. Kind of taking advantage of the mana cop. But that's a good nair into up tilt. Even stock, even percent, even game. So just smartly trying again, trying to use, extend his hitboxes on these, the uh, the the balloons and on the tree when he can, which isn't a bad option because Palutena does have pretty meaty hitboxes that have like long that benefit from having extended hitboxes. They're not quite getting it. Good uh, chase from Tojo. This is a air fight right now. Oh, the sprout is out. Tojo getting out of there. Roll. <laughs> All right, Lloyd. Lloyd eating that. That was so great. I would have fallen for that down smash for sure. Right? 
Side B. Look at that corner. Nope. All right. Should be fine. All right. So even. Not quite percent for that. Oh, good. Re amazing recovery from Tojo. Knowing that his drift would make him back. Otherwise, he would have definitely gotten hit by that, uh, that bowling ball. All right. Here comes the tree. Not getting hit by the tree in 2023. Okay, genius throw from Tojo, not, not getting hit from the hitbox. And he's got to get out of that corner. He knows he's got to get out of that corner. All right, he made it out. He made it out. That bear would have taken it. And yeah, uh, seeing the chat, Jerry pointing out the series is going a long time. It is with two minutes remaining. With so much salt to it, and two socks. It's like those time, actually. We will we'll see. Oh, Tojo trying to get that, that neutral air to uh, up tilt again. Keep in mind, this is best of five. And it, <laughs> any of those hits will kill him. See? He's just going to ledge. He doesn't want to deal with it. Oh! Nah, dead. Super dead. Oh, let me pull it up real quick. Let's see that depth. Oh, let me get that real quick. All right, play. All right, so just see what happened. He, oh, I see. He hit the balloon. That delayed him long enough so the panic could get back up and then just landed that down there. Alright, game three. Go. Even even sets. Or even in the set. Oh, backwards jab. Nah, it's, it's villager. Villager's very hard to kill like that unless you can get it straight out. One of the best, like, general recoveries in the game. Just think that. Oh. And honestly, these two are, are kind of, I was going to say scrapping, but, you know, that they go five and a half minutes, I think. So it's going to be a slow burn, but, like, I, I personally enjoy the, the slower matches. It's a lot more space. Micro spacing is a lot more... Mental, like fortitude. There's like a lot going on when it comes to like matches that can't roll. Yep. And Panda, Panda is always throwing out that rocket at just the right spot, so. But it almost doesn't really get the 50-50 when he wants it to. Again, we're a minute and a half in and no one has lost the stock quite yet. Panda sneaking in a, a, a cheeky little neutral air to catch uh, Toto doing that, uh, trying to get that nair. Toto firing right back, and again, we are back to even stock, even game. And honestly, it, I mean, it, it's hard to say for sure, but like, it, it, generally it's been feeling like Panda Bear has been controlling the, the general pace of the match. But it's still, Tojo has, has been picking his places, which you really have to do against a uh, villager of, of Panda's uh, caliber. Because if you let yourself get, like, impatient, it can be real bad. 
It hasn't actually used the other Huckler in, in a minute, but I don't really think it's not super useful against Villager, it seems like. Just, just because, like, you reflect with the Lloyd, that's not going to go. Okay. Not going for the back air. Alright, Tojo having the punt lead. Who's going to take the second sock? We will see. We're three minutes in. Not getting a bowling ball yet this set, but knowing the kind of you will, you will find it finally get one probably like at the end. We'll see. Oh, I think Panda was looking for the up tilt. Don't don't tell anyone. Alright, we're back we're back to like Platformer, that, that's generally, actually, that, that's about the space we're fighting. It's basically just been like the full platform's distance. So it's like, it's like they're both just standing on the platform, waiting for the person to approach or make a mistake. Because this is, a, it's a safe distance for each of them to kind of, okay, let's hand of set up this time. Oh, smart dash tech, Kojo. It's definitely a little bit of a mix-up for Tojo. He's, he's been mixing between dash attacking, uh, side B, going for a grab, and just doing nothing a lot of the time, too. I think he made Panda Bear a little bit comfortable with that at that point. That's not quite going to take it. Tojo back into the back into the zone. All right. Oh, I thought Panda was gonna go for a back throw. Oh, way off stage now. Oh, Panda was going, was going for a grab at that point. I think back throw could kill apparently off the stage. Back throw. Oh, okay. Dojo getting a very solid lead right now, back forward throw, or top throw. Panda really struggling to get the stock off. I wouldn't be surprised if he just does a raw grab soon. We are at a minute and a half. Alright, that down air getting the triple turn up right when he needs it. 71%. That's rough, but Dojo can't do it. He's just gonna have to be, I mean, he's, he's gotta watch the clock at this point. He's obviously gonna try to take time, like, you know, people to play this way. I mean, they're both playing on that game. And it's listening to music. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we go to a timeout for at least one of these games. Maybe not this one, because it depends on how Panda plays. The coach is willing to just be patient for it. Back throw. Okay, good option for Tojo to just be patient. Forty-nine seconds. And it's definitely not going to be able to rack up some damage soon. He's going to have to. He's going to have to start approaching. Yeah, uh, I mean, if I were Tojo, I would just start running. Eh, maybe not. Maybe not quite yet. But it looks like it, at this percent, like I don't know. He's going to have to pull a miracle. Yeah, 15 seconds. Yeah, nope. All right, no timeout at least. Close one. So drop two one. That uh, that ending was really good. Teleport cancel, amazing teleport cancel from Tojo, getting it right before the buzzer. 
Or right before, you know, the 10 second buzzer. Now going to Hollow Bastion. Honestly, I mean, both of them are just playing great. It's been, I mean, it's, like I said, it's a slow burner. Wow, there's no way Tojo's gonna get hit by that. Panda Bear's always, you know, there's really no harm in going for it. Yeah, it's just, it's literally just been, Tojo has been picking his spots. And letting, like I said, letting, oh, I guess I just fell out. Letting Panda Bear set the pace as much as he wants. And then finding like the small window that you can sneak in. That still has yet to get hit by volleyball. Alright, that Nair gonna lead into another. Ooh. That I think that uh reflector is oh, very bad, very good angle for Hoko. Not quite getting the spike hitbox. But also teching just in case it did. He's <laughs> playing. Just like, like I said. Oh, I watched the stock. Getting that berry. All right. Let's see what the, the initial mix-up is. Yeah, just, just destroying that tree. Don't want to deal with the mix any mix-up that he could possibly have. I actually wonder if, uh, can you, uh, chat, can you pocket, uh, the, the fire? I can't remember if you can. I assume you can. No, no, no probably not. You can't pocket that. It's, a, it's probably a ghosted box. Alright, that Naren, he's been using that a lot. It's very, it's been very effective. Yeah, I didn't think so. Thank you, Trolling. Very interesting. You, like, you keep having like these, 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 these. A lot of the battle is kind of being decided by when he used uh, Panda Bear uses uh, Floyd Rocket, and then what is Sokol going to follow up with? Chase Blitz. That's been kind of a mix up. This whole set. Oh, okay. I guess it was just playing. Not, not quite gonna take it. Alright, yeah, again, a near fight. But he's keeping Panda Bear off stage. This is where he wants it. Panda Bear, he's dying out a lot. But honestly, he kind of wants to add that percent. Take it. I think that was three turn up. Regardless, oh, that's not gonna take it. Oh. Yeah, that that tree lingers that box is so long. There's lots of reasons why uh, villagers tend to put it out. It really mess people up. Oh, ooh. And I like what Tojo was going for. Like that. That was. He went for a mix-up of, of Nair into Hip and Grab. Alright, tree in in place. Oh. That, I guess that was back throw. For some reason I thought that was down throw and just the Lloyd Rock hitting that reason. That was some reason. We are at 250. I don't think this one's gonna go to time. I'd be amazed if it did. Now Axe is ready. Oh, the cool jab. Alright, Dota getting that damage. Oh, looking for, oh, looking for a, 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 a hip grab. Not quite getting the uh, board air he wanted. That let Tojo get in, get a little more percent. That shield getting a little low. Uh oh. 
Alright, Tojo avoiding certain death again. Maybe that tree pushed him away. Ooh, yep, we got it. He's been hunting for that for a while now. And Tojo, moving on three to one. Yeah, yeah. Tojo will be staying on for winner's finals against Atata. Oops. We'll go back to this. All right, Tojo. Still living in Winterside. Having defeated, let me see, let me pull up his uh, his info. Because he's had a run today. 